What's up, carnivores? Zach here with American Smoke. And today, we're doing butterfly chicken legs on the PK Grill. So I've seen these done a few times on other channels and uh, just curious, you know, what else can you do with a chicken leg? I usually just, you know, I just grill them, smoke them. This is kind of neat. So I did a test run the other night and uh, learned a few things because, you know, that's what test runs do. They teach you. Some of the things I've learned, what you want to do is you want to try to get one side that's got the most skin on it, leave that there, flip it over to the opposite side. And once you get your skin sort of pulled up on the side with the most, that kind of lets you know where your butterfly filet needs to be. We're going to go ahead and get that done on all these. <laughs> Next step is to fillet. Now you're going to use a sharp knife and just find point at the top and run that all the way down, almost to the joint. Then you're just gonna start opening up a little bit. And what I found is it just start making little slices on either side of the bone, little cuts into the meat. And then you can just lay that over, open it up a little bit more here and there until you kind of get it open the amount that you want it open. Let's go ahead and fillet the rest of these out. Okay, so now that we've got that done, next steps is gonna be just to put a little bit of olive oil onto the chicken, spread that around with a brush, just to make sure that the seasoning is gonna bond and it's gonna help the texture of the meat a little bit as well. What I found eating these is that, you know, the benefit of this is that you just get a lot more meat exposed to your seasonings and your flavor. Uh, the seasoning that I'm using today is the Lane's Barbecue Blackening Seasoning. This stuff is delicious. This is a sugar-free rub, and so it's better, a little bit better for grilling because you're not gonna get as much of that, you know, sugar burn. Great texture, great color got cayenne pepper in it, so you're gonna get some heat. Tastes really good. You know, dip your finger in it, taste it, you automatically know this is gonna be great on some chicken. That looks great. Let's go ahead and flip these over and prepare the other side. I really like how Lane's mixes up the size of their seasonings because not all seasonings on certain cooks are great if they're all large grit. They're not great if they're all fine grain. I like how they mix things up because it adds texture to the finished product. And also some of the things that aren't gonna break down in a faster cook, they go ahead and they make it smaller so that it makes its way and penetrates into the food a little bit better. So for this cook, all I'm gonna be doing is just moving the grates over to the side real quick. We're gonna push all of our charcoal over to one side of the grill because we're gonna be doing a hot zone, cold zone cook on this chicken. Everything's already nice and hot, so all we gotta do now is get the chicken on there. Right, so we're gonna be starting our chicken today meat side down and let that kinda absorb some of the heat off of those grill grates. And this is just gonna get us a nice sear, get that Maillard reaction, get her done. And we're just gonna watch these for a few minutes while they cook, and then we'll be flipping them over to the skin side. Man alive, the smell on these things is amazing. The smell that's coming off of that. My air vent down there on the bottom, I've got that closed off to kind of manage the heat of these coals just a little bit. They are able to pull air in from the top, but that does keep the uh, heat down just a hair so that it doesn't get really way too hot on this chicken. You know, if I ever needed to calm the grill down and, and cool those coals down a little bit, all you gotta do is just shut the lid, leave these vents closed, give it like a minute or two maybe, and that'll knock the temp of your coals down a good bit. And that goes for any grill, you know, just shut the air off and the coals are not gonna do too good without air, guaranteed. So it's been about two and a half, three minutes on these and it's probably time to flip them over. We got a nice char on that one. Yeah, these are looking great. That's gonna be the color that we have at the end of the cook. We're going over to the skin side now. We wanna be a little bit more careful because that skin, will try to burn on you. So we're just wanting to get a little crunchiness on the surface of this chicken and then move it over to the cool side. 
You have to be very careful with this skin and check it on occasion to make sure that it's not. I'll probably check it in about another 30 seconds. As you can already see, the fat starting to drip out and it's flaring up a little bit. One good technique to keep chicken skin from burning is to just keep your chicken moving. You know, tin the grill, just tin to it. That's also going to help you to get a more even cook. When you're cooking with short tongs, it might be a good idea to have some insulated gloves on because I'm just uh, burning myself over here. If you see a flare up like that, just kind of get everything out of that area, move on, and uh, if you need to move it over to the cool zone, you can do that. We're already getting some texture on that skin already. And really this whole portion of this cook is all about getting texture on the skin. Make sure every once in a while you're flipping it over, checking it out, make sure it's not burning too much. We do want a little crust, but we don't want to burn necessarily. Gotta love that sound though. Ready, ready. All right, so all these are looking just like how I want them to look. Nice little crunch on the skin. Don't worry if your skin does get just a little bit black, that's gonna soften up during the cook as that fat cooks out of the chicken. Okay, so now that we've got everything moved over to the uh, cool side of the grill, I'm just gonna toss a few hickory chips onto these coals just to get a light little kick of hickory. And really, it doesn't even have to fall through your grate. It's gonna smoke. I'm gonna shut this down and let it go. I'm gonna open up the vent that's just over the chicken and about halfway, and I'm gonna open up the vent that's below my coals about halfway. That way the air tends to push over towards that chicken and cook it evenly. If you want a slower cook, just reduce the amount of airflow. so our chicken should be done. I did come over and flip it. I had to come in earlier and sort of uh, move my coals around a little bit. And uh, we're sitting at perfect temps, right there around that 180 mark. This chicken is extremely tender. It's like pushing it into a stick of hot butter, man. Boop, 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 boop. So perfect right now. This took about an hour. I kept my uh, grill at about 250 degrees, so seven or eight minutes of sear time, and then about 45 minutes to an hour of offset cooking. Things have a very unique look on the bottom side as well. Can't wait to try one of these after they cool down, of course. Check out this pretty little setup I made for my thumbnail. I'm trying on my thumbnails, guys. Y'all let me know what y'all think about my new thumbnails. I've been trying to just spotlight the finished product a little bit more, so. All right, guys, so we are all done. The chicken took about 45 minutes. Uh, this looks phenomenal. The color came out excellent. That little bit of smoke that we put on there with those hickory chips really took to this chicken. Pulled them off once they were all over 180. This chicken is just, you know, super tender, pull apart. Surprisingly still hot. Took me about 15 minutes to get my... Thumbnail done. Golly, golly bum. That's amazing. A little sort of white on there. Good Lord, man. Oh, that blackening seasoning, it's so good. It's got a perfect amount of heat. This is my first time putting it on chicken. Y'all follow the link down below. Check that out. I promise you, you will not regret it. And like I said, when we was making this video, you know, you just get seasoning on a whole lot more of the chicken. A lot of people don't like a dark meat chicken just because the flavor is a little different, a little more pronounced than like breast meat. But when you open it up like this and you expose a lot more of the meat to the seasoning, you dull down a lot of that dark meat flavor and you get a lot more of the seasoning, but you still get the texture of the dark meat, which is moist and velvety and delicious. You combine the cayenne pepper and this blackening and seasoning with this sort of white. So good. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see y'all in the next video.